Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday to you. Um, I am Cassandra Williams of Cassandra Williams Enterprise, and I'm your victory coach and the founder of Wise Wives Build. And I help wise, busy professional women and kingdom leaders build the life that they've always dreamed of, and I help them live in that place. And this morning, we are out here for the morning tea. I hope after this teaching that something will be said that you feel equipped, you feel empowered, you feel encouraged to act. I want you to be moved to action. Good morning, Pastor C. Good morning, Fred. Thanks for coming in. And when we um, come out here for the morning tea, I want to just say thank you to my replay viewers, those people that are viewing this at a later time. I don't take it lightly that you see fit to come into this broadcast. You could have went into any other one, but you saw fit to come into this one. So thank you. Thank you for everyone that will tag, share, invite someone into the conversation. And as I was getting ready for the morning tea, you know, normally I have all these billions of notes and I'm, you know, I feel like I'm ready. And last night I'm like, God, you have something to say. And I was talking to a friend and she said two little words to me. And those two little words just kept playing in my head over and over and over um, last night. And I was like, okay, okay, that's going to be it. And I'm like, okay, well, do you have anything else for me to tell him? And he said, no, he said, just tell them simple obedience. J just tell them I need them to move and to be in simple obedience in this season. And what does simple obedience mean? Simple obedience simply means that, you know what, whatever God says, do, do it. Wherever God says, go, go. Whatever God says, say, say. And, and sometimes y'all, we, we want it to be deep. We want it to be, you know, profound. Listen, it's that simple. It's that simple. And if you look at First Kings chapter 19, many of us know that with, with First Kings 19, we, we get stuck at God speaks in the still small voice. But can you but we oftentimes we forget that after he spoke to um Elisha, Elijah, and he let him know that you know what? He started speaking to him and they started having a conversation. He gave him instructions, y'all. There were instructions. There were things that he had to follow. And so sometimes we get caught up. Good morning, Anita. We get caught up in, you know, just hearing the voice. We, we forget that there's a simple obedience to what you hear. And so after, you know, we get past the scripture of God wasn't, he wasn't in the earthquake. He wasn't in the uh, thunder. He wasn't in the fire. He was in the still small voice. Then it says, God gave him instructions. He wrapped his face and he went and talked to God. And in God giving him instructions, he said, go anoint Hazael as king of Syria, anoint Jehu king of Israel, and anoint Elisha as prophet in your place. Simple obedience, even when you're training your replacement. Oh, can y'all can oh, can y'all do that? Can, can y'all not be mad when they bring in the new person on your job and you have to train them because God is transitioning you out to a new place, to a new thing, to, to a new position? Can you not be mad? Because when I read that, I had read that a million times, but that really stuck out to me this morning was God told him, now you go, because he was telling God, I'm tired. He has just went through. He ran, you know, and he was found himself in the cave, but he was just found himself in a place. And God said, good morning, Jeanette. Thank you for coming in. He said, yeah, Pastor C, training your replacement. He said, he said, now I want you to go, you know, and he was okay with, you know, I, I can see us being okay with anointing Jehu and, you know, you know, anointing Hazael. I, I can see us being okay with that. But when he said, you know, I need you to go and anoint Elisha, prophet in your place. And you'd be like, well, what, where I'm going? What? That's some of us. Okay. But when you walk in simple obedience to God, whatever God tells you to do, you're going to do it. Why? Because you know, God has a plan. You you know that God has something better for you. You you know that God, God is trying, if, if this person is taking this position, 
then that means there's another position for you. And y'all, can I can I can I just help you with this right here? Simple obedience to be absent because when when Elisha got caught up. When Elijah got caught up, Elisha got the mantle, right? Elijah got caught up and went on to be with God. Do you think he wanted to stay here and be a prophet? Or would you rather go be with God? Okay, so simple obedience, whatever he is telling you to do, do it. Y'all remember the story? We like to quote, you know, the miracles of Jesus. And he just said, get up. It was simple. Get up. H how you going to tell the lame man to get up? It, um, <laughs> his legs don't work. How you going to tell, you know, you're going to spit on the ground, put the mud on his eyes and tell the blind man, say, what you see? What? What you mean? What, what you see? He, he can't see. Good morning, Taisha. Thanks for coming in, sis. He can't see. Naaman, go dip in the water. Naaman, you got leprosy. I know you got leprosy. Go, go dip that dirty Jordan water seven times. Just, 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 just go dip seven times. Simple obedience. God uses the simple things. Y'all, sometimes we are so busy looking for the big thing. We're so busy looking for the lights. We're looking for the flash. We're, we're looking for that thing that, because see, if you ever really notice and you ever really think about it, all of these things were done in private. He didn't anoint. The prophet never went and anointed the next king. He never went and anointed the first person in a showy way. And I'm not saying we shouldn't celebrate people, but see, here's the thing. Sometimes you have to look at it like this. Pastor C just had her confirmation, right? But can I tell you, she was anointed a long time ago. Can I tell you the the the, the anointing on her life was, was commissioned over her a long time ago. She just came out and had a confirmation this weekend so that we can all see and we can all celebrate the acceptance of what God had already done years ago. He anointed her privately. So your simple obedience will allow people to be able to see, because here's the thing. Hazael and Jehu were anointed in private to be king, but then there was a public display when they took the crown. Be a, but the anointing on your life is a private thing. So y'all, you got to have simple obedience in the private things, those private moments that God is telling you when no, ain't nobody watching. When, 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 your, um, when, when your accountability partner ain't there to see, when, when your pastor's not standing there and all eyes are on you, you still got to have and walk in simple obedience. Simple obedience. When he told Peter, he said, Peter, Peter was a fisherman. He said, Peter, go, go, go down there, get that fish, and then open his mouth and there's going to be a coin. Then go pay the taxes. Why is there a coin in the fit? Now, see, I would have had questions. I'm just going to be honest. And God has had to work on me with that simple obedience so that I don't be like, wait, 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 wait. I got questions because the walk in simple obedience, you got to get past this right here. You've got to get past your mindset. You've got to get past your intellect. You've got to get past what you think. Mm, okay, I'm gonna say that again. You got to get past what you think and how you think God should do it. You got to get past all of that and say, you know what? I'm gonna walk in simple obedience. There was a season in my life where God was like, look, ma'am, it was one December. Everybody else was doing a Daniel fast. And I was like, oh, cool. Okay, we're getting ready for the Daniel fast. He said, no, you're not gonna do that one. And I'm like, huh? What you mean? What you talking about? He said, nope. He said, you're going to do simple obedience for 21 days. He said, you can't question me about anything I tell you to do for 21 days. Excuse me? I was like, I was like, can I please turn down my plate? Y'all, that was one of the hardest seasons because I didn't realize how much I, I questioned God. I got, I'm a coach. I 
I have questions. I, I, I have questions. But you know what? I had to learn to start walking in simple obedience. If he said, do this, just do it. <laughs> he shut me down last year around March when I came home. And he said, all I want you to do is work on the back office of your business. Huh? He said, nope, I want you to work on that. I want you to work on that. I need you to streamline the back office of your business. And so from March until um, June, in the March through June, that's what I did. I, all I did was the back office of my, build, my, my business. And then after I did that step, he gave me the next step and the next step and the next step. And so, y'all, I have been walking in simple obedience. And can I tell you, I haven't liked for anything. Can I tell you that my business has grown and I have had the, I had the best year in 2020 in the midst of a pandemic? Simple obedience. And so that's all I came out here to tell y'all. It's Winning Wednesday, y'all. It is. It, it's an amazing day. It's an amazing time. No matter what is going on, God is still God. And he just wanted me to give y'all two words today. Them two words right there on the screen. Simple. Oh God, how are you going to do it? Simple obedience. God, how are you going to bring that to pass? Simple obedience. God, then how are you going to get me from A to simple obedience? So guys, thank you so much for coming into this broadcast um, today. My name is Cassandra Williams and you, you can connect with me at www.thecassandrawilliams.com. If you're one of those people and you feel like, you know what, I struggle with that. I, I struggle with simple obedience and you would like to contact me, feel free to, you can go into my DMs. They are open as well as um, you can send me an email, you know, just go check me out. Go see what I'm about. Um, you can also connect with me if you are a married lady or you're a lady in waiting that, you know, he ain't showed up yet. I'm, I'm still waiting. Simple obedience. But you can go to www.wisewisebuild.com and connect with some ladies that are trying, that are doing it. We're not trying. We are doing it God's way that we're not leaning on our own understanding and we're not looking at the things the way that, you know, the world does. We want to do it God's way. We want to show up as the best versions of ourselves, not only for ourselves, but for our families, in our businesses, you know, because, you know, wives was the original boss lady. You know that, right? Wives hold it down. OK, so um, that's wisewisebuild.com. I have a community on Facebook. Um, you can also connect with me on Clubhouse, y'all. I'm on Clubhouse. So just find me. I'm all over social media at thecassandrawilliams.com or Wise Wives Build. Put in either one of those and I pop up. That's me. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, Janice has helped me to walk in obedience. Yeah. Taisha, that that's what he is doing with me now. Or right, organization, because we gotta have we gotta know where we, you know, line upon line. Because if he opens up the floodgates and he put sends all those people, we gotta be ready. We, we got to be ready. We claim the millions and, and we know that they're out there waiting for us. But are you prepared for them to come in? Because, y'all, one of the things that I teach my clients is this. Even a good thing can overwhelm you. Even a good thing, because we run and we shout and we jump when we say, his, you know, blessing upon blessings and he's going to make our heads spin. Y'all, do y'all know what that means? That means things are going to come in so fast that you are going to kind of have to, right? And if you're not prepared for that, that can overtake you. And now the blessings can become a burden. Those blessings can become a burden. And we don't want that. God says, I will make you rich, wealthy. He'll add to you. He'll make you rich and add no sorrow with it. And those are the blessings that I want. I want to be able to handle the things that God gives us. So guys, thank you so much for being here today. Go to either one of those websites and just, you know, see what I'm all about. See what we're doing. We got some new things coming up. Y'all, can you believe we're almost in February? We're about to be in February, right? Are you ready for February? Have you processed through January? Have you done everything you need to do? Because guess what? You got four more days to get it done. Simple obedience. 
Amen. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you for being here this morning. What? Well, yeah, Taisha, I'm glad you're feeling better. I am so glad you're feeling better. I saw that you had been not feeling well. So I'm glad you are feeling better. So ladies and gents, go out and be great. That's all. Go out, walk in simple obedience, and be great. Somebody needs you today. So have an amazing day, everybody. I will talk to you guys again for the morning tea. I'll be back right here on Friday. Bye.